everyone. Welcome to Let's Unbound Math Kangaroo class. And today we are going to start a new series where we are going to discuss some previous year questions that came in Math Kangaroo examination for grade five and six. So today we will be looking at five marker question that came in Math Kangaroo 2019 exam. So let's reveal the question. So here is the question. Question says, Robert makes five statements, one of which is wrong. So, one of the statements out of the five statements which he made is wrong. Let's look at the five statements. Statement number one is, my son Basil has three sisters. Next is, my daughter Anne has two brothers. My daughter Anne has two sisters. My son Basil has two brothers. And my, I have five children. Let's imagine and let's go step by step. In the very first uh, statement, he mentioned that my son Basil has three sisters. So let's assume this person is Basil. And he is having three sisters. One, two, three. And to make them look like a sister, let's create some hair. Okay. Statement number two is my daughter Anne has two brothers. Let's assume this is Anne. And Anne is having two brothers. Brother number one, Basil. And let's assume there is one more brother. So we are done with statement number one and statement number two. My daughter Anne has two sisters. So here is Anne and she's having two sisters. Sister number one and sister number two. My brother Basil has two brothers. Now here is Basil. Basil should have only one brother. There is no other brother, right? Because we have only one uh, boy left and that can be his brother. And the last statement is, I have five children. That is true. One, two, three, four, five children. So that means A, B, C, and D, they are correct. They are interrelated to each other. Whereas option number D, which says my son Basil has two brothers, that is out. Because that does not make sense. Basil has only one brother. That is not possible that Basil has two brothers. Hence, we got our answer. The wrong statement is D. Statement D. Let's check our answer. And yes, it's option number D. I hope you liked today's video. And if you have more suggestions, if you are facing any difficulty in any of the questions, do let us know in the comments below. We will be happy to help you out. Thank you so much. See you soon in the upcoming video. Till then, keep learning.